found it. Happy Friday. Guess what? We're back. It's 2023. It is January and it is a very live at five. We are actually right on time this time. And um, we're going to start off with a little bit of smooth jazz just to kind of ease you in. Hello out there, Ventura, California. I see your beautiful eyes are on us. And uh, we are actually going to start off with a little bit of music. My name is Los Castro. My friend here is John Griffin from the J-Men. And we are going to start off the show with a little bit of Friday Night Smooth Jazz. And then when we come back, we're going to get to know the big surprise, the big reveal. And my great friend John is going to play some amazing music for us. You guys are ready for this? I hope you are. If you're driving, please drive safe. It's not going to kill you to be safe. But I'm bum. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah.
chill and you're here ready for your sonic safari how, how we how we doing here let's check in with everybody let's see where are we where are we tuning in from yeah maybe maybe a couple of shout outs john do you have any shout outs anybody you want to say hi to good evening good evening shout out to everybody who's able to join us tonight uh, have a good time um uh, see a few folks on here uh shirley johnson Carolyn Cooksey, Bruce Meyer, Angela T. Good to see you all the way from Florida. Erica Griffin, my wife, watching in the other room, watching us live on YouTube. Hi, Erica. Thank you all so much for the love and support. Oh, wow. We got a few people in there. Yes, thank you for those shout outs. 5120, hello, everybody. You're watching from, from Michigan. Okay, so we got Michigan. We got Gardena with Shirley. Bruce, you guys, so we got, we got a lot of people out there. Thanks for joining us, Joy. What a what a beautiful surprise that is. Thank you, Angela. Oh, wow. And yes, yes, Shirley, you're very right. We are welcoming everybody back. Christine Ogin, I see your hand there, too. Lori Wilson, hi. Oh, we're checking in with a lot of people. So, uh, yes, we're happy that you're here. We're proud of you. You just elevated yourselves to patrons of the arts. And we are going on a sonic safari. As always, we, we like to explore different genres, if you will, of the contiguous United States, but also we continue on to the world. Today, we're kind of sticking around close to home. How close to home are we, John? Where are you at? Um, I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> Where is home? What I'm state? actually right outside Detroit. Detroit. Oh, well, you guys know a thing or two about music. Am I right? Motown. Now, is that where you got your start? Yes. Right there in Michigan, Motel? Yeah, I was born and raised here. Born and raised in Detroit. So I had a, a, a huge uh, Motown influence um, and lived where some of the Motown artists lived at, at one point. So I, I, I felt kind of at home with that. But yeah, born and raised here in Detroit. Well, thank you, Detroit, for making me feel welcome. I'm, we, we actually met through KMR Place Live. Uh, John and I, and we also met uh, through Angela uh, Terminaro. So we've met uh, through different people, uh, you know, different patrons of the arts, uh, if you will. Uh, so we're very grateful, very proud of you guys that you guys keep coming back for more and good stuff. You're going to see how good because John's fingers are alive and well. I heard you had a little mishap. Do you do you want to unpack that a little bit or no? You don't want to talk about it. Did you? Oh no, I'm 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 good. You good? You don't want to talk about that. In the words of Country Joe, I'm queued up and ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> right, Country Joe, he's out of here tonight, and I, I kind of miss him. You know, t you know, calling us out. You know, uh, they, we're very grateful to the KMR Place Live family. This is just our little corner of the world. We're not competing. We're on an off day, but we are awfully. Do you like my segue? Happy that um, they kept me in touch with a lot of the wonderful artists from around the United States, uh, some fantastic talent. And uh, the stuff is, it's inspiring. You know, um, for me, I, you know, I'm, I'm in both camps, the instrumentalist, you know, I've been a sideman as a guitar player and as a singer. Now, what, what are your v modes or vehicles of expression, John? Um, mainly the saxophone. Um, a little bit of piano, 
Mm-hmm. But mainly, mainly the saxophone. What kind of what kind of sax do you do you play? Not a brand, but you know, um, do you, different voices. I have. Um, actually, I don't know what brands they are. <laughs> no, you don't have to talk about brand, but but what what oh, voices which, are they? Uh, which which ones? I have a soprano, alto, and a tenor. Okay, so you are well rounded. Soprano, alto, and tenor. For everybody out there, it's not the same. Tuning, uh, feel, tone, tone, touch, timbre. What? 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 Am I missing another T? Well, is is yeah. They all have a their their pitches. Uh, their octave is a different octave, and mm-hmm. it's um, a different key as well. Like the uh, soprano and tenor play in the key of B, uh, B flat. B flat. The alto plays in the key of E flat, but they're like uh, an octave higher. Right. Um, as as you get to the smaller instrument, the the tenor is a deeper sound. The uh, alto is kind of in the middle, and then the soprano is a little higher. There's actually a saxophone that's even higher pitched than that. There's a saxophone that's lower pitched than a tenor. So right. Um, that's where my voice wants to go. Just a matter. Go to the baritone. Kind of sound you're looking for. Nice. So, do you have a favorite of all those voices? Um, a home that I'll you keep. The soprano. Soprano. That's where I started. Got with it. Soprano. And eventually, I got uh, an alto, and then eventually, I got a tenor. Um, but I, I've always had the, the soprano. I've had that 20 years, maybe. Mm-hmm. And I say maybe within. Eight years, I got an alto. Within five years, I got a tenor. Now, do they call it a tenor because it's so loud and you need to stand like ten or twenty feet away from people because it's punchy? No, it's, it's not <laughs> like that. It's it's just the the range that it has. Got so it. Tenor range. What what you got on hand right now? Which which um, which which one do you have? Songs. Which sax do you have ready on hand? That's what I'm asking. Uh, my soprano, as a matter of fact. Well, do you want to, matter of fact, show us what she sounds like? Do you name your saxes? Because I name my guitars. This is, this is Fiamma, by the way. Everybody, I get, if I don't say their names, they get upset with me. and They're like, Lowe's, which one are you holding today? Well, this is, this is Fiamma, yeah. Okay. No, I, I've never named them. Mm-hmm. And maybe I'm just weird like that. I don't have a Lucille. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> like B.B. King did, you know. But no, I, I've never named them, but I, I just know what they are. So. Nice. And I, I know what song I want to hear when I make a song. Right. So I just picked the right one. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, well, that's, that's really cool. That's, uh, well, I'm really curious to hear what she sounds like lately because uh, I, from what I understand, you know, we've, a lot of us took a little break, my, moi included. <laughs> Moy, as, as a friend of mine says, Moy was... Uh, Took a little break. You know, we are assessing life, a lot of us. Uh, weather has gotten crazy in different uh, neighborhoods, right? Um, and uh, what else has happened? Uh, new year, new goals. Everybody's looking at that. Uh, hey, John, I don't know if you saw this, but mom is watching. I'm supposed oh, to tell you ooh. that. Yeah, mom. Yeah, mom. Was, I know mom is coming. Hey, Patrick. Hey, coming. And Patrick is going to be showing uh, showing up uh, at a show. Uh, he will be here on this show pretty soon, and he will all be also be with me at uh, LBL show on the twenty first. And if you want to know about that, loscastromusic dot com is the place to check your um, different events that are coming up. If it's not loaded today, it will be vo- loaded soon. And really quick, do you have any events coming up? We're going to hit it now and then later. Um. I mainly do um, receptions, and I don't have any venues. Okay. But uh, a lot of folks use me for, uh, I recently did a retirement party. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a, a gathering coming up in a, a couple weeks. Uh, it's usually uh, private private parties that I usually uh, play at. Mm-hmm. I haven't really gotten into the venues, you know, mainly c- because of the COVID situation. So um, that's kind of where I'm at. Got it. Okay. Well, let's let's hear that sax and welcome everybody. If I missed your names, we will give you a little shout out a little later. Just really quick, we did say Patrick and Sandra Brooks is uh, greeting, sending greetings from Costa Rica. Uh, let us know how the weather is there. We want to be jelly of you, Sandra. <laughs> 
uh, that's okay because I'm heading to Central America really soon. And shout out to my 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 big sis uh, Deborah King, singer Toledo, Ohio. She's my she's my sis, and uh, we sing together often in on uh, events. And one of the one of my favorite voices, mus- resident musicologist Bill Grog just came in and said good evening to all. So I'm saying hi to you, John, on behalf of Bill Grog and the Portland area. So let's hear it, everybody. Let's hear it in the chat. If you like his music, let us know. Let her rip. All right. Well, this uh, first song is off of our, uh, I, I want to give a shout out to, I, I forgot somebody, yeah. uh, my partner in crime, Jamal Morgan. Um, he is a, a brother friend of mine. We've known each other for 30 plus years. Awesome. And we, um, Went, well, I went to school actually with some of his brothers, but we actually ended up being uh, good friends. Wow. And we made uh, two albums, just fiddling around with uh, musical equipment, and I, I played the saxophone, and next thing you know, we had two albums come out. So um, this is all actually off of our first album. Mm-hmm. It's called Under the Stars. Under the our Stars. our first album is, uh, we're, I'm, I'm one half of what's called J-Men Melody. Beautiful. And the first single is Under the Stars off of our first album, Out of This World. All right. Let's hear him. Here we go. Thank you. 
That was hot. Thank you. Thank that was you. hot. Thank you. The the chat is just lighting up. We got we've got new faces and, and shout outs. We got Lady Coco's in the house, Anitra Dion. Oh, hey Lady Coco. Man, hey, hey. It's, you know, this is se- seeming to me like uh singer all stars are just everybody just showing up. So and good thing you're showing out, bro, because uh you were smoking. Yeah, fifty one twenty says you're smoking. Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody and uh, Jamal Morgan, he says, "What's up?" So he he he's calling you out back, and he said, "That's What's my boy." Home? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, man. So um, I'm gonna just jump in this because I'm excited. My heart is just thumping. I'm like, "Oh man, I'm hearing some good sounds in there." So speaking of sounds, all right. Think back when you were young. I'm not gonna ask you your age. I don't want to embarrass you, but I have a theory, and my theory is that the formative years for a musician is who you are. So I'm going to take a stab and I'm going to say either 13 or 14, which was more important for your development as a, as a musician or, or your, your listening pleasure. When were you like aware? This is what's up. This is what I want to do. This is. I would say 13, 13. See, I, 13. I knew it. I knew yeah. it. What were you listening to? Well, we used to have in Detroit a, a, a radio station, WJZZ. Any any Detroiters or Michiganders Detroiters. may remember that station. And uh, that really got me hooked on jazz because it was such a, a wide spectrum of artists and groups. And I like sounds and instruments. And um, the first group I listened to was the Rippingtons. And I've always was a fan of the Rippingtons. And... Um, and many of the horn players, whether you know it was Kenny G starting out, Boney James, Najee, David Sanborn, Dave Cos, Jeff <laughs> Koshua, Eric Marienthal, Paul Taylor, Gerald Albright, we could go on and on. Keep going on um, and on. I, I love the saxophone. I always loved the saxophone, and especially the artists who, who played it. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a really big influence. And, and not to tell my age, but um, I remember many nights going to bed with my Sony Walkman. <laughs> <laughs> the one that played the tapes, not the one with the CDs. Right. That was the next generation, <laughs> but the one that played the tapes. So we're 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 about somewhere between eighty and eighty four. All right, I kind of got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. What was the big album? Because for me, thirteen. Uh, man. Okay. So for me, that that shows you. I was listening a lot of um, Toto, was big and uh, Steely Dan. It was huge. And Michael McDonald, Doobie Brothers, but it was that Michael McDonald's with them. I was listening to a lot of like um, James Ingram, you know, and you know everything on the radio was like woo woo woo. That kind of sound, you know, it was just it was nice, man. It was great, you know. Uh, it's just great time for R and B, and I kind of miss that. Are you, you guys still have a, a, a R and B station back home? Because we, we Portland doesn't really have. We do, we do, we have a couple. Um, it's not like it used to be. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> right. No, I, I, not picking on anybody. I, one of my favorite genres was like the '90s R&B. Uh huh. Uh-huh. That was that was really my favorite when it came to R&B. But a lot of the, the music that's out now, <laughs> it's some of it's nice and some of it's not so much. But right. Um, you know, I, I do miss that genre. It, it just seems like it, 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 the music was better. It, it was real music, real instruments. Right. And not samples and, and, and mm-hmm. sound effects per se. It, it was, to me, more real real, real music. Yeah. But I, I just like that, that decade. E- even before that, I mean, I grew up listening to Gap Band and Shaka Khan. Right. And LTD, Chapter 8, uh, Commodores, uh, right. Earth, Wind, and Fire. I, I listened to those as a kid. So, yeah. You know, any anything back then too, I, I thoroughly mm. enjoyed. Right. I you know, I've had conversations. In fact, a shout out goes out to the the maestro. He's here and uh we've we've got we've got an uh, a replay of uh, Zuma Palooza uh, tomorrow, the fourteenth. So uh, looking forward to that and you know, shout out to everybody that was on there. There's a long roster, some phenomenal singers and that's I'm glad that they're here showing up so I can give them all their proper shout outs. Um but yeah, so my son and I, we were talking about that, how the, even the absence of a, of a bridge in music, where back in the day, if you're hearing Commodores or Earth, Wind & Fire, for example, you get this great groove, but then it just changes on you. You get that really nice bridge. You get that left, 
left field, out of somewhere out of left field, and bing, da -de -da, da -de -da, and then just it just changes on you, and the bridge is just as great as a song, but it took you somewhere else, and then comes right back into the groove, and we missed that. We you know we just really missed that beautiful sound, the sound of us, you know. Songs were talking about you and me and we are family and just it was upbuilding and encouraging. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I, I agree. It was it was a, a lot different. I, I call it the, the, the good old days of music. I mean, it, it made you feel good. You know, it made you enjoy being with family and friends and having a good time. I, I do. I do miss those uh, oh. those songs. Well, I think, yes, Yellow Jackets, definitely. Thank you for calling that out because I grew up on Yellow Jackets. Uh, Passports was a great album, and Absolutely. I love, man, Mark Russo on the sax, man. Him, I, to me, uh, my guitar playing is informed a lot by Mark Russo and David Sanborn, that lyrical style. And so I, I play by ear and by feel, and I hear that in your playing. A am I right? I mean, are you self-taught or, uh, or, or are you... You read really well. You can say that. I'm self-taught. Mm -hmm. um, I play by no ear. Shame. Um, I, I know how to read music, but you know, I, I, I didn't start young mm -hmm. in like school band. I, I picked it up later on. I was well into my 20s when I picked up a sax. I always wanted to play a sax, but you know, they just it wasn't in the in the budget growing up. So, um, and, and I, I will say, you know, I. Looking back, I wish I picked up the clarinet. That was my option, <laughs> clarinet or nothing. And the reason I say that because it's a woodwind, just like the saxophone. And if you uh, were able to master playing a clarinet, it, it wouldn't be a, a big deal to transition to a saxophone. It's the same uh, type of instrument, a woodwind. So uh, if I had any regrets, I would say that. But I did uh, always wanted to play sax, but I didn't pick it up till later in life. Got it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think we all, I, I started a little late too, so ain't no shame. Hey, uh, DJ Lex is in the house, and he and I, we've had extensive hey. talks about music too. I mean, we got some real music aficionados here, and that's what this is about, Sonic Safari. So, you know, we just we just played a, a, little, a little Friday Night Music. I think I'm going to try to, we're going to try to stay in that, um, in that feel that we were talking about. So let me know what you guys think of this. If, if you guys like people like Larry Carlton and all of these smooth jazz people that we've been talking about, Hiroshima and uh, Jazz Masters and Yellow Jackets, Spyro Gyra, all yes, of that, yes. you know, uh, let's, let's keep the show going, shall we? Because we still got another hour to go of good time, music, feel good. I hope you feel good. You all make me feel good. You make us look good. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can continue to bring incredible talent like the one we've got here tonight. Darn it. I can't. I just can't. Wow. You just, you're a bad boy, John. Let's go. Hope you all feel good about this. I should probably bring my volume up. <laughs> that would help a lot. Uh -huh. Feeling that bass?
but it's a Friday and we need to cover some ground, folks. So uh, enough of those because we need to hear more, John. I can see the chat lighting up and they're talking. They're, they're like, hey, it's time for a collab, John. Somebody's talking to you. So, hey, and you are sounding great. Alex Cross says, John, you're sounding great. Thank so, you, Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. I think the we audience is t- talking to us. Clarence Lee, nice and smooth, just got here. Thanks for coming, Clarence. He's also another person that's going to be on the show with us um, on the 21st. And, man, can he sing. He makes me tear up. And he's a Chicago singer. And, he, man, he can play a mean harp. Just saying, this, I mean, I'm feeling some collaborations here. This, this chat is just lighting up with some incredible talent. The talent is right there. Everybody from Lori Wilson, she's incredible. She writes great. You play great. Man, we got DJs in the house that play great. Man, just surrounded by greatness. Speaking of greatness, do you have a fear of mediocrity when you play? Yeah, I do. I, I try to keep it fresh, try to mm-hmm. I have ideas. I may have ideas. I may have had ideas for years mm-hmm. and maybe just had the opportunity to, to put it down. But I, I, I was asked by someone, uh, who do I pattern my sound? Or uh, me and Jamal, who do we pattern our sound? Mm-hmm. And uh, who do you try to sound like? <laughs> and my answer was, I, I try to sound like me. <laughs> Great answer. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to sound, you know, someone say, oh, he sounds like uh, Boney. He sounds like Paul Taylor. <laughs> I, I'm trying to sound like me. And, and right. you know, each artist has their distinct sound. Uh, the right. Their distinct sound and saxophone. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, you know, if you listen to an artist mo- long enough, you can kind of tell who's who just by listening to the first few notes of the song. Right. You say, oh, that's so-and-so. You, you, you know right. it because right. of his style, his, his For sure. instrument. And I, I'm, I try to be that way, and Jamal tries to be that way. Mm-hmm. Being original, you know, we try to come up with original uh, music to, to stand out with something different. Right. Well, like, like what would you be feeling right now that you would say is indicative of where you're at with your music right now or your voice or the sound that j- j- in with, uh, with Mr. M- Monsieur Jamal Morgan the J Men, Jamal and John. If you haven't done the math, folks, they're the J Men. <laughs> so, what is indicative of how you sound, or what is your sound? Could you could you show us a little example of that? If I if I'm not putting you on the spot, it's. Uh, do you have a track? I couldn't put it into words. It's, okay. It's, well, do you have a track that you can show us? Is what I mean. Yeah, I, I have uh, another one. It's called Stepping Out. This is off our first album as well. And I'm going to play a couple songs off of our, our current project as well as a, a uh, an oldie but goodie. All right. Not on their album. All right. So this one is called Stepping Out. Awesome. Stepping Out. One half of j an excellent sax player. Speaking of sax players, while he gets his sax, I got to say my big brother Chuck Barton is in the audience and that's very sweet of you, Pamela Morgan. I'm glad that you like my guitar playing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm loving what I'm hearing. So, uh, okay, turn up your volume, please. Lady Coco, are you talking to me or John? I think your mic when you come back on. But if it's me too, let, let me know, all right? I just wanted to say uh, briefly just another shout-out to my, my parents, my mom, dad, my brother, Antoine, my sister, Carolyn, uh, my wife, Erica, who's uh, been very supportive from day one. Awesome. Jamal, his parents, the Morgans, many of our family and friends, and, and we, we again we appreciate you, uh, family and friends coming out and supporting us tonight. We Absolutely, really thank you. Thank you very much for making this possible, folks, because your support for him and for the arts makes this all possible. We would not exist if it wasn't for you guys. So, please continue to to like and subscribe so that you know when we are live with excellent talent just like this representing Detroit, Michigan. It is, oh. Okay. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
That chat was lighting up. They were saying, oh, man, we can feel that emotion in that sax. Thank you. Thank what you. To think. Yes. Okay. So they're saying that just when you speak, it's uh, your voice is a little low. You know, you, you, you got that uh, Barry White thing going on. You're trying to, you're trying to, you know, I mean, you're already making the baby making music with the sax. And now we need to raise that <laughs> mic. <laughs> you got that. Deep. Louder. Is that any louder, folks? Can you guys hear us okay? Sounding good, John. Rock the house. Yeah, they're just saying that when you speak, it's a little low. Either I'm a loud mouth or... Turn it up a little more. Oh, there you go. I think that's a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. You have the beat for sure, bro, Laurie Wilson says. Fantastic. There's a lot of love going on in the chat. 
the foundheads have spoken and they really dig your brother if any babies get born tonight don't forget we spell his name j-o-h-n and mine is just l-o-s <laughs> hey mom whoops i just said that joke right when my mom's coming in the room <laughs> 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 baby making music is okay we still got a few minutes to to play some more beautiful jazz and sweet jazz and r&b where is your heart these days how do you define yourself as a certain genre or is there a certain home or do you like to just experiment with different styles um I like to ex Experiment. I, I would say maybe I would consider us maybe new jazz. New jazz. If, okay. if that's a category. Modern jazz. Okay. Uh, contemporary, mainly contemporary. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all instrumental. We haven't had any um, singers or anything like that mm -hmm. yet. Um, that may be in the works or any uh, guitar players. <coughs> oh. Uh, uh, um, <coughs> so, you know, it, I do you know, sing that, too. That, and like I said, you know, we talked earlier, you know, I, right. our music is just changing. It's you right. know, it, you look at the first album to our current one. Yeah. We've matured. Things have changed with us. Mm -hmm. But we still kept the same flavor. But right. even though uh, there were some changes in the, the style, mm -hmm. but we still uh, we try to still keep it original and not sound like someone else. Got it. Yeah, that's it's really important, right, to have your. Today, it's all about branding, but more than branding, it's a voice, right? I mean, at least that's the tradition that you and I follow. We were talking before the show. Absolutely. Right. It's finding your voice. And uh, we were also talking a little about, I keep asking this question to, to musicians that I uh, feel that we are peers. And um, so when we're in high school, we got our posters, right? There are idols. Then those idols, they become heroes. And then those heroes become influences. Do you feel that that same way? Or is that how you stepped up to your voice to find your voice, your individual tone? Is that your journey or I did you have a different I journey? No, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say I idolize anybody in particular. I had my favorites. Mm -hmm. I had, uh, you know, certain ones that I did enjoy listening to. Um, you know, a lot of the artists that are out now, I mean, they've paid their dues, so to speak. They've been around for many years and decades. And um, you just say their name and everybody is a household name. And it's not like, you know, we're trying to make a name for ourselves or anything like that. But, um, you know, it, it, it would be a wonderful feeling to, to be considered among those, but not the, in, a, in a spirit of competition, trying to outdo any other artists, like I said, we're trying to make, you know, stand out as, as being unique in our own, our own style and, and way of making music. But we're not competing with anybody. We're not trying to, uh, again, make our name for ourselves. But if, if many like it, we get a lot of pe uh, positive feedback from it, a lot of likes, and a lot of, in, uh, a lot of people have told us that, you know, we really enjoy your music. We want more. Give us more. Yeah. Uh, your, your sound is very unique and very distinct. Uh, they listen to it on all the uh, platforms, the different digital platforms, and they, they really enjoy our music. So uh, to me, uh, that, that, that's a good feeling in itself. Yeah, I'm not awesome. trying to be at a certain level or top anyone else. Just mm -hmm. being able to some, have someone enjoy our music Wonderful. is good enough for me. Wonderful. Who just played? Did you did play or did I play? <laughs> I just did. You did? Oh, man, I was hoping you would go next. <laughs> okay. I can. I, I, I can. If, if you want to, otherwise I got I got a track. Yeah. But but if you want to play, go, go for it. Yeah. Okay. This is the title track from our current album called Start to Finish. Cool. And it's called Start to Finish. Start to Finish, folks, on the Lounge of Sound. Enjoy your Friday. Mm hmm Thank you. 
stuff man that was good stuff where do you go you. when you're playing where do you go do you have a vibe that you're looking for a color a place that you're transporting because you 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 were gone bro i don't know i just try to get into the music get, get into it when I'm, I'm feeling it i'm feeling it when you're feeling it you're feeling it very cool let's keep feeling it Let's keep feeling it. I'm gonna I don't know what this is. I'm gonna just go ahead and jam. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling it.
pulled you, pulled him back. I kissed the girls and made them cry. I kissed the girls and made them cry. I kissed the girls and made them cry. Pulled you, pulled you, pulled him back. Kissed the girls and made them cry.
shrug a little bit. I was just feeling it. It said C minor. I was like, hey, it sounds like it. It's probably not, but <laughs> let's have some fun with that, right? We we are deep in the feels, folks, and we still got some time left. And uh, the music is just pouring out. You see what happens, John? What were we talking about this? It's like we push each other. No competition. You say something, I say something, and then I'm like, I'm feeling it, and then you feeling it. Is that how it works? Is that how it works with you uh, you and, and, and uh, Monsieur Morgan? Or how do you guys work things out when you guys are, are writing or, or arranging? We have an idea. Mm -hmm. We pass the ball to each other. What do you think? Mm -hmm. He put a little seasoning on it. He sent it back to me. Or uh, he'll send something to me. I put a little seasoning on it, send it back to him. Right. Uh, we we make our own songs. He makes his own. I make my own, and we do collabs together, and kind of balance it out. And that's just how we work. So sometimes you've got a kernel, like an idea. Is it like a like a riff, a, a run, or or you got the chords? Because he, he he plays predominantly what keyboards? Like a lot of the sound effects and beats. Okay, got it. So I may have a bass line, I may have a chorus, I may have a melody in my head. Got it. And we just see what happens. <laughs> you make it sound like really easy. Oh, it just it just happens. <laughs> no, it's not easy. It's not easy, but it, it it's just how we work. Huh. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you have a favorite song that you guys play? And have you played it? All of them. All of them. Oh, okay. Man, you you can't. I can't, I can't just pick one. Right. Are they like your children? Is that how that works? The songs are like like your children. They're all unique in themselves, but we like them all. I mean, I wouldn't pick one over another because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we we you know we put everything into them. So I mean, okay. Well, why don't you tell me what you you would like to tell us about Jamin? What would you like to to make clear or to, to, for us to understand about who J Men is? Uh, we, we're just two different, um, I wouldn't say backgrounds, but two different flavors. Okay. Okay. And we combine them and it, it, it makes a unique sound to complement. Um, and like I've mentioned before, you know, we, we try to be original with it. So, you know, um, Jamal might come with a, a beat, mm -hmm. and I get a melody, and we put it together, and it comes out comes out perfect to us, and we we publish it, submit it, and, and put it out for everyone to listen to. So that's that's just kind of how we work. We we may email, text each other one day. Hey, I got this idea, and mm -hmm. that's typically how it takes off. Got it. All right. Well. Sounds like you're ready to take off and show us another piece. You mm -hmm. ready? Yep. Let's do it. So I actually, I, I, I'm going to perform a remake of an oldie but goodie in the Isley Brothers fans. Ooh. So I'm, I'm going to play that, and then I'm going to play a song off our current project. It's called Keep It Moving. That's coming up after Well, let's this. keep it moving then. Do it. So up first is For the Love of You. Ooh. All right. Now, what happens if I accidentally play a little something along? Would you guys be nice enough to let me know if we're if we're in sync? If not, uh, if it messes you up, I'll pull out. All right, I got that's what my volume pedal's for.
Thank you, thank you. Very nice. Give me a second, I'm going to do a I'm wardrobe change. Okay. Wardrobe change. You want me to play a song while you're waiting, or, or are we, is this going to be pretty quick? Oops, sorry, sorry. That was not supposed to be <laughs> the volume.
Just a reminder, folks, if you have not liked and subscribed, please do so. And then that way you can get email subscription, uh, an email notification. We don't like, uh, what do you call it, uh, you know, a bunch of emails either. So you just get them when we go live. And So we're going to be going to every two weeks. Lounge of Sound will be going every two weeks. We've got some uh, other pursuits, spiritual pursuits. Life is changing very quickly. And for us to be able to to fit all of the other events that you're going to be checking out over at LosCastleMusic.com. And don't forget to check out Jamin on Facebook, uh, Instagram too, right? Yes. Okay. Facebook and Instagram. Awesome. And if you feel tipsy, check it out. LosCastleMusic.com also has a little tip jar there too. And uh, we'll try to – is there any information, John, if you'd like to – I can put it on the chat. Um, if you um, – we, we do have uh, – CDs, and we also have music that is on all of the digital platforms, um, Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, you name it. So Google um, J-Men. J slash J-Men Melody. J-Men J Melody. hyphen Men Melody. And you'll find uh, uh, our two albums on there. Uh, please enjoy them. And if you want to contact uh, me, um, my email address is J H Griffin zero three at gmail dot com. So I'll, I'll put it in the chat too. But um, if you want to contact me, done about a CD or any music issues or anything like that, please feel free to, to contact me. All right. Last track again. What is it called? This one is called Keep It Moving. Keep it moving. Let's keep it going.
Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Melody is in the house. And before we leave, I've got, I'm going to be playing one last track, but is there anything you'd like to remind our, our chat, the found it's, what would we like to say? Any shout outs, any reminders or anything? Um, thank you again for coming out this evening to, uh, to, to jam with us, have a good time with us. Um, Please like and subscribe to, to the Lounge of Sound. And um, follow me, uh, John Griffin, and J Man Melody on Facebook, as well as uh, uh, on Instagram. And stay tuned for new music. New music, indeed. Um, In fact, I put it on the John Griffin on Lounge of Sound. When this is on replay, it has his Facebook, J Melody, uh, at J, J Man Melody. And, uh, and the pertinent information, also your email is on there on the chat in case you would like to uh, handle some booking or just contact him for ideas and things like that. But uh, thank you very much for showing up. We're going to be writing the show out. Don't forget, we're going to every other week. If you like and subscribe, you will know when we go live. And before we even end this, I got to ask you, can you and your, your uh, counterpart, can you guys come back when you guys have that new album out? Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Most definitely. Hey, he's committed. You heard him here, right? Mm. Yes, mean yes. <laughs> yes, you mean yes. Exactly. All right. Let's play some smooth jazz guitar and let's go. Thanks so much for coming on the show. You are fantastic. Love the music. chance on love when love comes through that door I may not be perfect and I may not be perfect together we make perfect sense to me
our show guys perfect timing how's that and uh, as musicians we try to do that we aim to do that keep coming back every other Friday and if you just like and subscribe it's a very small thing we'll make a deal with you if you love what you heard today then tell everybody you love and if you hate what we did today then only tell people you hate <laughs> sorry buddy I had to go there anyway Thank you so much for coming, bro. You one of you my one of my favorite founders. Love your sax. Hey, thank you for having me. Any thank voice. You. What a fantastic evening. What a fantastic comeback. What a fantastic year this is going to be, bro. Come back, please come back. All right. You too, Mr. Morgan. We talking to you. Hey, founders. Right. See you soon. Follow there us on go. Facebook, them and me, and we will catch you on the flip side. See ya. Good, Good night. night. And we...